Next, we're jumping over to the East Coast, where we have Michelle Tinner, Director of Passive House at Sustainable Comfort, who is going to discuss the 1818 Fifth Avenue FIAS project near Albany, New York. Welcome, Michelle. Hi, my name is Michelle Tinner, and I am here to tell you about the really cool 1818 Fifth Avenue market rate passive house multifamily project in Troy, New York. I work for a company called Sustainable Comfort. Uh, we're a Worcester, Massachusetts based green building and consulting firm, um, construction development and property management company with loads of experience in multifamily housing. The developer for the project is the Rosenblum Companies. Uh, they are a full service owner operator of premier properties in the capital region of New York State. And the architects for the project are Balzer and Tuck Architecture. They're based in Saratoga Springs, New York, and their design process is grounded in partnership. So as part of this integrative design team, they collaborated to design the award-winning 1818 Fifth Project which is the recipient of this prestigious NYSERDA Buildings of Excellence Award that recognizes and rewards the construction, operation, and, um, and design of clean, resilient, and carbon neutral ready multifamily buildings with up to $1 million in grant funding. The project is located in the cold in winter and hot and humid in summer city of Troy, New York which is in the capital region of New York State and roughly three and a half hours by car from New York City, depending on traffic. So 1818 will offer the efficiency, comfort, and health and wellness benefits of passive house living in the form of micro apartments. And as part of this, the building also has planned communal amenity spaces that include a co-working space, a media and gaming lounge, a pet spa, a mail center and a conditioned bicycle storage and maintenance room. This building will also be located in what is considered to be a walker's paradise based on the distance to nearby places and the pedestrian friendly uh, neighborhood. So the building uh, 1818 Fifth will span nearly the entire lot along Fifth Avenue in Troy's historic downtown, which will help to revitalize the streetscape in this area. Currently, it's home to an abandoned bank branch. And the simple boxy shape of the building uh, is typical of the predominantly Italianette architecture in the neighborhood and has the added benefit of facilitating passive house envelope integrity with its simplicity and form. The building has roughly 55,000 square feet of conditioned space, and that includes a mix of 71 dwellings, which are micro units, studios, and one bedroom apartments. The double loaded corridor, as you can see, makes it so that every apartment has a dedicated outdoor balcony with private sea screening and abundant natural light. So the use of glazing and the connection to outside add to a sense of space in these relatively small units. Here are a couple of unit plans. As you can see, it's really about optimized minimalistic living. The micro apartments are averaging around 400 square feet, uh, yet they're gonna be outfitted with all the same in-unit features as the larger one bedrooms. And the building will be constructed using a prefabricated panelized wall system that is gonna address both the need for a robust and airtight thermal envelope in the passive house. And um, as I'm sure you're aware, passive house has very stringent air tightness requirements. So our team of certified energy raters and FIAS verifiers will ensure that the air tightness requirement for the building are met, both the whole building air tightness and the compartmentalization between units. And they'll also inspect for all the requirements related to the Energy Star, Indoor Air Plus, and um, DOE Zero Energy Ready Homes certifications the building will achieve. Optimized for solar shading, um, and with triple pane 
glazing uh, and windows, the envelope is going to deliver a superior comfort than a typical building and improved acoustic performance, as well as a higher level of indoor air quality due to the building's air tightness, but more importantly, thanks to the energy recovery ventilation that will be delivering fresh air to every single unit and bedroom. Uh, there is one of these systems per floor to minimize ductwork and also to maximize efficiency and resilience. So if one unit down, if one of these units goes down, the other three will still be working and providing fresh air to the residents. The 1818 project is an all electric building. It will feature air source heat pumps for heating and cooling. It will have integrated smart building controls, electric vehicle charging at the site and a rooftop solar array. And battery storage is also being explored. Um, so stay tuned for further updates on that. Um, and so additionally, resilience and low carbon materials are considered for the project as well. The building is raised above the 500-year floodplain and porous asphalt and permeable landscaping areas are present at the site. And we've been conducting some studies comparing the carbon emissions of various materials, um, although final selections have not been made, but it certainly is part of the conversation here. And because I'm an energy nerd and I don't think I could feel a sense of completion for this presentation without showing at least one graph. I am showing you the modeling results from Woofy Passive. As you can see, the design is on track to exceed all of the targets for FIAS core certification. Finally, I'd like to give a shout out to my colleague, Chris Striley, who is the official CPHC for the project, who can be seen here chilling with me by the pool at the recent FIAS conference in Houston. Thank you all for your attention. Keep up the good work. Bye. Thanks so much, Michelle. So many great innovations in that project.